It's the season for premium flagship smartphones and it can't get any bigger, literally speaking, than the latest Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. The Pixel series is still among the best ways to experience Android. And Google has successfully leveraged AI to further enhance the user experience. But is it worth the XL size price tag? Stick with us till the end to find out. The design is quintessentially Pixel, but more refined and contemporary than the previous phones. The phone is built really well and feels ultra premium in your hands. And then there are the colors, which look classy. Options include obsidian, porcelain, hazel, and rose quartz. Having used all the colors, I feel the porcelain variant looks the most regal of the lot. The phone itself is extremely flat, which makes the rectangular camera island protrude more than it should. In fact, at first glance, the camera seems like it was stuck on the back after the phone was made. As the XL in the name suggests, this is a big phone. So big, in fact, its dimensions slightly edge past even the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. But at no point does this phone feel bulky. The 6.8 inch OLED display does justice to the phone's XL tag. It is a treat for your eyes when playing games watching videos or reading Unbox by Chroma. The variable refresh rate makes everything look smooth and the peak brightness ensures things are still legible when outdoors. For those concerned about protecting the large screen, Google has opted for Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection. This should keep scratches at bay. An interesting addition is an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. It is quick at unlocking the phone and it's quite accurate when it comes to recognizing fingerprints. Under the hood is the latest 104 G4 chip, which Google says is faster and more efficient than the previous chips. In essence, this will translate into snappy day-to-day -day performance, and I couldn't agree more. Though it misses out on the raw power of the latest chipsets from Qualcomm and Apple, there's enough juice on offer for a lag-free user experience. At no point during my usage did I come across any major lags or stutters. For those wondering, the Pixel 9 Pro XL is not a gaming phone but you can still enjoy titles like Asphalt Time Legends at its highest graphics. The phone tends to get a tad warm when pushing the internals to their limits, but at no point did things reach uncomfortable levels. The Tensor G4 chip is designed with a balance between power and efficiency, and this shows in the phone's battery life. During testing, the phone was easily able to last more than a day on a single charge. Use it more judiciously, and the battery will even last up to two days. But when the time comes to charge, the Pixel phone takes a small step back. For starters, there's no bundled charger. And when you do use other fast charging adapters, it still takes a considerable time to fully charge. The phone runs Android 14 out of the box. This is somewhat disappointing. I was expecting Google's latest phone to run the latest Android version right from the start. Still, Google has announced seven years of software support for this phone. So an Android 15 update should be right around the corner. On paper, the cameras on the Pixel 9 series haven't seen an upgrade. The rear setup continues with a 50 megapixel main camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide camera with a macro mode, and a 48 megapixel telephoto camera. But it's a case of don't fix what is not broken. The camera UI remains simple, and it is quite easy to shoot great looking photos. Speaking of which, the main camera shoots stellar photos in daylight conditions, managing to capture plenty of details. The colors almost pop out, which is great for sharing on social media. The ultrawide camera too does a great job in ideal lighting conditions, and the colors are impressively on par with the main camera. Even the telephoto lens managed to capture photos without losing out on much details, even when zoomed in beyond 10x. The camera up front, however, sees an upgrade with a 42 megapixel lens. Selfies look great and on par with any premium phone out there. Thanks to Google, we are reaching a point where AI is no longer just a support function. Instead, some of the new AI features could steadily change the way we use phones. Take for instance Gemini Live, which is a virtual assistant that is more human-like than before. It will perform certain functions and answer your queries, but is now capable of having a proper conversation with you. And Pixel Studio can generate images from a text prompt. While it works well, it is a feature to have fun with and not for serious use. Pixel's cameras have been known to leverage AI with features like Best Take and Magic Eraser, but this time around, Google has added two more features and each are noteworthy. AdMe lets you magically add yourself into a group photo you are shooting. 
the feature works so seamlessly that it is near impossible to tell the AI photo apart from the real photo. There's also Reimagine, which uses AI to change the background of your photos. Let's just say that we had a bit too much fun with this feature going crazy with the background choices. The Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is what we call a super phone. If you're on the lookout for a phone that can do pretty much everything imaginable and a bit more, then this is it. Priced at 1,24,999, it is also a true rival to the ultra premium Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. There's a lot to like about the design, the humongous display, the cameras, and of course, the myriad of AI features. It's this last bit that is also a key differentiator and Google is in the front seat driving this change in the way we use smartphones in our daily lives. For these reasons, we rate the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL 4.5 out of 5 stars. Would you get the Pixel 9 Pro XL? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to Unbox by Chroma for more in-depth reviews.